I only have about three minutes, so let's get this going. It is March 5th, 2021, 3 or 8 p.m. This is episode 1171. I have a few cartoons sent to my editor at CNN and I'm waiting for them to get back. So I figured now's a good time to go ahead and make this video. Because I think whenever I'm done with the cartoon, it might be really late. And I'm not going to want to stop and have to do the video. Even though this is pretty short. And let's do the shout outs first. Because I don't want to miss anybody. Even though it's not much time. I did enjoy drawing Mr. Potato Head. And I have him. I, I had this one Mr. Potato Head for the last like 20 years or so. And he oversees every cartoon. He's like standing over my table. Um, Mickey White says, yes, your videos have been shown in my feed again. I'm very happy to hear that. Because I love that you come back and left a comment. Thank you. Uh, TJ says, uh... When you talk about the whole thing, saying trying to defend that something's not racist, whatever. Here's the thing, Dr. Seuss, he let racist images go in there. I don't think he, he was a hater so much, but he had, like I guess, some of that old school racism going on with him or something like that. A lot of his political cartoons were the same way. But yes, if it was racist back then, it's racist now. I know that we had different standards, but whenever you draw the images that he did, you can't get away from it and say, that's not racist. Unless, of course, you, the kind of person that looks at Donald Trump and go, well, he's not a racist. And that's the kind of person you are, TJ. So, yeah, you're, you're you, you will not be the the ruler on this one. Um, the decider. Das Rebo says spot on, but the last cartoon. Oh yeah, that cartoon is in political today. The one with all the cows and the poop. Yeah, cow pie. Uh, TJ says liberty isn't BS. Texans can still wear a mask if they like. That is true. They can still wear a mask. But you know what? If say you go into a store in Texas and you don't want to catch COVID, some motherfucker, then, then isn't somebody not wearing the mask taking away your liberty to like I don't know live? It's like blowing smoke in somebody's face. All right. Rob Cortino says Seuss also wrote the spot on spot off book, so he did suggest that racism is not rational. See, and that's it. People are complicated. They are. They're just not always no pun intended. Black and white. Speaking of black and white, Robert Cotino says, does Texas have a lot of spotted cows? Yes, they do. Texas has lots of spotted cows. If there are cows, I'm sure there's lots of spotted cows. Uh, once in Hawaii, like in 97, my son was seven years old, and we, were, we decided one day, my wife and I and him, to drive around the island. That was an awesome trip, because that's the first time I encountered 7-Eleven nachos with the jalapenos. And it was awesome, I'm driving eating nachos, going, oh my god. My wife got them out too, so I, I didn't even make that call. But anyway, as we were driving, I saw a bunch of cows in Hawaii. And I pointed, I said, my son's name is Clayton. I said, Clayton, look, look, quick, Hawaiian cows. And he's like, where, where, where? Oh wait, still just a cow. <laughs> you know, he's like, that's definitely, I'm definitely a dad joke kind of guy with him. <laughs> Even when he's at seven, he's rolling his eyes at me. But also rolling his eyes at himself that he's looking up like, oh my God, <laughs> Hawaiian cows. Let me see. What would you expect to see the cows in, in like grass skirts or something like a luau? Ooh, a moo, a moo, a moo. See you later.